No cougars. Mister. Oh. Come. So when can I start shooting these fuckers? Ma'am. What's up? Not much of a home.
a cult a while back. Didn't see Eden's gate for what they were, I suppose. Maybe she just didn't care. The folks say that's where the cult figured out how to turn all those flowers into the bliss. The angels, the judges, the mist. They all started in that miserable place. Thank God you shut it down, Rook. Are you sure you want to do this? These flowers bring hope. How are you bring destruction. Hopefully this puts a dent in the cult's ability to make this creepy ass fog. Thanks for waiting. Thank you. 
Good to see people coming together. You're really messing with that cult. Hi there. Sir, good day to you. People got a safe place thanks to you. Nice to see you, girl. It's not much about... Time to get to work, Rook. It'll do in a pinch. Hey, man. Last two days, Hi, we've man. had a few people go missing. Only from what we can tell, they weren't lost in the bliss. There's been rumors of some place run by Faith's favorites. The kind of place nobody comes back from. Torture, drownings, sacrifices. People say anyone who doesn't walk Faith's little pilgrimage winds up there. I think we got a real problem on our hands and I need someone to check it out. Someone who can handle themselves if it turns out to be more than just stories. Be careful, Rook. Can prison walls keep Faith out? She's a damn ghost. Whatever you're doing, it's working. My deputy's on the way. I want the airwaves open for support. Montana knows how to paint a beautiful day. Don't know how much longer we can hold out here.
carefully in there. They probably have hostages. Out there. If 
face our people are torturing them or turning them into angels. Scrambled eggs, as Tracy says. You find them, Rook. Set them free so they can come home. I'm in. Let's do this. Actually, my worst nightmare. Thanks for saving my hide. I'm on it. Let's roll.
as Whitetail Militia. Now, they're heavily armed and wary of outsiders. Just my kind of people, huh? But I haven't heard anything from Eli in days. So I expect they're already at war with Jacob Seed. The only message I did get was from my niece, Jess. She said the cult had turned the lumber mill into a prison camp. Maybe you can start there. Where'd you come from? Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. But believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. This way. Thank God we saved all those people. See that? That's his call. Shit, that was close. See that? 
Cults so grabbing everyone. They'll take you from your home, your bar, even church. Don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. And anyone who can't or won't fight for it winds up dead. Culling the herd, he calls it. Wholesale slaughter innocent people. Nobody oh. believed it was happening because nobody wanted to believe. Gates got training camps all over the place, building an army for him. Then there's the one we're after. The cook. He's one of Jacob's favorites. The one who leads his purge. The cook's bought into all of Jacob's bullshit. This motherfucker's gonna get what he deserves. That was actually my worst nightmare. Us if you don't help, I don't think help is coming. Please help. They're Run gonna kill me or something worse. Church isn't letting anyone go now. You need better last words than that. We're just making people disappear. Help us get away from here. Please. Leave us here. 
how I feel. You want to know why they call him the cook? A couple years back, been, uh, Jacob sent one of his guys out to round up this family. Parents and kids. First thing he did was starve them. Gave them nothing. Not even a drop of water. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. But the kids didn't want to do it. So the parents forced it down their throats. The kids puked it right back up. Cook didn't like that. So he went and strung the parents up on posts under the hot sun. All this craziness is giving me a big problem also. Hold up. I think I heard something. They said yes. Started begging for food. Cook asked if they want pork. The kids said yes. So he went out to the parents and took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market. And the blood poured like a damned faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. Jacob's been rounding people up, taking them away to God knows where. Piggy's left. So he laughed and 
set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. I'm sick and tired of how these pagans treat me. When they finally stopped God, screaming, got rights. I looked around. He was just gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. Eli's got his hands full with Jake. Like Taylor. That was the most heroic thing I've ever done. That's it, I guess. Dutch was right. Cook's dead, and... I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy. And now... I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Dutch has been right about a lot of shit lately. The cult. Eli. Maybe he's right about you, too. You, uh, you need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh, thanks for everything you've done. Good day to you. This is 
Ms. Mabel. Hello? The cult riled up little peaches, and now those cunts are going to get their dick scratched off. If you... Good day.